The Athenaeum was started in 1814 when there was no free public library, and people, if they wanted to have a library, it helped to band together to buy books because books were expensive and hard to come by. The Athenaeum is a membership-supported circulating library that includes everything from older books to the most recent bestsellers, as well as a research library that focuses on Philadelphia architects and architecture. We are also a community forum where we specialize in speaker series that bring in authors who talk about history and art, architecture, literature, and have workshops, classes, tours, and trips, but we are open to the public. Anybody can become a member. Nicholas Biddle of the U.S. Second Bank was one of our founders and early presidents. In 1845, we uh, had a competition uh, for architects for design of a new building. John Notman, famed architect, won the prize and designed this as the first Greek Revival building in Philadelphia and also sort of started the whole craze for brownstones. So we're a National Historic Landmark building. This building really is a piece of Philadelphia history in its architecture and design. The room that we're in right now, the reading room or library, looks basically like it did when we opened in 1847 when someone like Eliza Hamilton came and visited when she was in town. She would have entered the library and it would have looked like this. We really are unique. Our collections include everything from blueprints and maps to census books, builder's guides, if you want to know more about your neighborhood or the house in which you live or the hospital where your mom was born, you can come here or use our online resources to do research and help you make sense of where you live and who's been there before you. The Regional Digital Imaging Center, which not only digitizes, scans our own material, but also material for other institutions in the area and for a lot of artists because we have a huge oversized scanner. which works really well for scanning large-scale paintings and other art objects. We have our architectural collection, which I think is a jewel and is used by researchers around the world. We have the Joseph Bonaparte collection. And Joseph Bonaparte was Napoleon's brother. He moved to Philadelphia after he was abdicated the throne in Spain and became a resident here. So we have a lot of materials relating to Napoleon and Joseph Bonaparte. We have also have a lot of museum collections that relate to the French and French immigrant experience in Philadelphia as part of that collection. It's a really fun little piece of Philadelphia history that connects us to Philadelphia's rich immigrant history people coming from all over the world to settle in this amazing city. We have a huge grandfather clock in the Bush Room, which made by Isaiah Lukens, who was a famous clockmaker. In fact, though, the chime had to be stopped when the Dilworths moved into their house that they had built next door because it was so loud that Mrs. Dilworth could hear it through <laughs> her walls and it bothered her, so we no longer have that chiming. We have a huge water filter from the 19th century where people would put a block of ice at the top of the water filter. It filters through a stone in to a barrel where the water stays chilled and you just turn the faucet and get your nice cold water and that has been part of the Athenaeum for much of our histories. We also have a telescope that was used by Meriwether Lewis in the Lewis and Clark expedition. We have a lot of really fun items in our archives for people to look at and learn more about our world. I'm Shirley Men. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.